Researchers at the University of Northern British Columbia are developing an eco-friendly alternative to styrofoam. They've officially opened the Seawise Biopolymer Processing Lab. <laughs> the project is led by Hossein Kazamian, who has been working with Campbell River's Browns Bay Packing Company to create plant-based packaging for the seafood industry. The ultimate goal is just to replace styrofoam with, with biopolymer, uh, bioplastic, something that's environmental friendly. Why that process is a long process, not going to happen overnight. The new lab houses state-of-the-art equipment, valued at more than $350,000, that will help researchers transform their prototype into a commercial product. So imagine that we replace that side of them with, with, a, with a polymer, with, with the packaging, uh, I mean, uh, materials that can decompose in a matter of several days or several weeks. That's going to address a huge, huge environmental problem that we are dealing on a daily basis uh, worldwide. While fully compostable packaging is the goal, the researchers have already developed a fully recyclable alternative called Thermalock. Our goal here at the lab is to transition a recycled version to a compostable version um, in the near future. The researchers say the packaging could not only be used for seafood, but for meal kits and pharmaceuticals. We achieved similar thermal insulation with a styrofoam. So, yeah, it, it, I would say it's uh, comparable with a styrofoam, but more uh, good for the environment. Knight says he hopes the technology goes beyond the seafood industry, but he's proud that a local solution could have a global impact. For us to do this in small communities like Canberra River, BC and Prince George is really remarkable. The researchers hope to develop the fully biodegradable version in the next few years. Hannah Peterson, CBC News, Prince George.